Sundrig's beer, this is the beer review. So the beer today comes from Brew York and it is a can of the uh, Le Mans Le Mans. This is a, an imperial version of their lemon sherbet sour, Simon Le Mans. A pun on Simon Le Bon, the lead singer of Duran Duran. You know, Brew York love a, uh, a pun. And the name Le Mans Le Mans like Duran Duran. So that's clearly what they were going for there. Um, it's 7.5%, 440ml can. Believe it or not, only the second Brew York beer I've ever done. The first one was my first ever video, which is surprising considering Brew York are by far my most checked in brewery on tap there. From my home city, my closest city to where I'm living as well. I grew up in York. And probably one of, if not my favourite brewery as a result. So. Yeah, let's get this crack this open. I'm looking forward to this. They do brew a good sour at Brew York. Instantly, oof, smells strong. Uh, I've had Simon Le Mans before. It's it's a nice, refreshing sort of 3.8% sour. This is, so like I said, it's seven and a half. So we're talking double that. <coughs> It pours, it looks like a sort of like a, sorry, I need to get more. Like a golden ale. I'm sure Simon the Mom was lighter in colour than this. But, oh, can and yes, it's a pint glass, I should be able to. Got a Rue really York glass today, so we are. Matching glass wanker. Whew, super lemony. And you're getting the sherbet as well. It smells pretty much almost identical actually to Simon Le Mans. What you're hoping for in this is that perhaps it will have a better body and maybe the flavours will be a bit more pronounced. But yeah, the smell is super light. Look at the way it's sort of, let's see if I can show you the way it's, the bubbles are sort of popping on top. It's really sort of quite lively. It's a very carbonated beer. Tell that just by looking at it. Yeah, it smells pretty much all I'm getting is sort of lemon and sort of a sherbetty sort of smell. It's like sort of tartness. I think it's probably just best just to dive in. Oh, it it's yeah, it's sour. I'll give them that. Much sourer than the standard version. Super lemony, super sherbetty. Body is thicker than on the standard version, as you'd expect. It's it's a decent body. But yeah, lemon is also is really there. I don't know if there's anything else in it. There is lactose in it. Yeah, sort of getting a slight sort of lactosey sweetness in the sort of background of all the sourness and tartness. Bit of a maltiness as well in there. Does it say what malts are in this? It does. Pale malted oats, torrified wheat, sorry, torrified oats rather, wheat malt and dextrin malt. Yeah, it's got a really good malt build. It's just a bit like a strong shandy, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know if it would be 
controversial of me to say, but I think I preferred the standard Simon the Mon, if I'm being brutally honest. This is perhaps a little bit much. You know, what made Simon the Mon great is it was super sort of refreshing, easy, sort of summer beer. This, like, a, it's probably just me as well, a bit of me, because I do sort of prefer my sour sort of darker fruits in, like sort of, you know, your raspberries, your cherries and stuff. You know, sort of like the sort of citrusy sours tend to be sort of better as sort of like session sours, in my opinion. It's sort of refreshing. Yeah, and this is just... It's nice, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's a solid beer. Yeah, it's just a little bit much. Like, it could, like, yeah, I think I preferred the standard version. It's like, it's, like, it's, I'm not averse to, like, the sourness and tartness, that's fine. It's just, it loses what made, sort of, the best qualities I think of Simon Le Mans have sort of been lost a bit on this, which I guess is understandable because it is double the strength. I'm not exactly saying it tastes boozy or anything because it doesn't. It's just a bit sort of, I don't know how to explain it, just a little bit much. All right, a bit too full on. Maybe it's just my palate. But it's, it's still a very nice beer. It's just want to sip I think it's not you know it's it's not it's not going down particularly easily but you know it's still it's well crafted you know it's well made just expect from Brew York uh, to um rate it up so this is purely my opinion you know I, on untapped I've rated Simon the Mom 3.75 I think I prefer Simon the Mom I'm gonna rate this one I don't want to be too harsh on it, but I'm going to go 3.25. Like I said, this is just my opinion, which isn't there's worse scores. I could give them, you know, it's not a terrible score. It's quite an average score, but just for me, I feel Brew York have done better sours. I've, you know, obviously they've done the other dialed up ones, which are Jackie Flan and Goose Lee. Goose Lee being a dialed up version, of course, Goose Willis. I'll be having them later on the Brew York tasting session. Well, I mean, not later when this airs, because this will probably air on, like, Sunday or something. But <laughs> but later on, as in today, on Friday, the 10th of September. But, it, yeah, I, you know, I think Brew York do better sours than this, if I'm honest. And again, that might just be me. It might just be my palate. I just think this is a bit full on. It loses what's what the best qualities of the original, which was a lovely sort of easy going, refreshing session sort of sour. And again, you wouldn't expect it to be a session sour. It's seven and a half percent at the end of the day. Yeah, it's just it's just a bit like yeah, just a bit full on. So yeah, three point two five. I think I'm gonna go for this out of five. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, this, like I said, it's got a good rating on Untap, so you know, it's probably it's possibly just me. It's possibly just me. Um, please, you know, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate your support. Uh, add me on Untap, Sam Drinks Beer 93. I'm on Instagram, or follow rather, not add Sam Drinks Beer YT. And I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.